Welcome back to my episode reviews of the original Rescue Bots cartoon. Today, we're taking a look at the episode, All Bots Great and Small. In today's episode, the troublesome tech-thieving twins, Evan and Miles, are back at it again. This time with cute little toys of the Rescue Bots! Aww! This episode begins with reporter Huxley Prescott doing a news piece on the first day of spring when a very sudden and very brief thunderstorm causes a mudslide. Fortunately, he and the other citizens are rescued by the rescue bots, of course. And for their ongoing and outstanding work in protecting Griffin Rock, the Burns family will be honored Saturday with the award ceremony being photographed for this month's Emergency Response Illustrated, the Life Jacket Edition. Really? A Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition parody? In my Cybertronian children's cartoon? Won't someone please think of the sparklings? Ooh, this could be the start of my modeling career. Yeah. So, for their continued bravery, the team is recognized for their heroism. I hereby declare Saturday the start of Bot Appreciation Week. Hmm, it's nice to finally get some appreciation around here. Everyone who attends will receive a miniature rescue bot souvenir, generously donated by me at great personal expense. <laughs> okay, several things. First, whatever that bot is above the stand, be it a balloon or a cutout or whatever, they are adorable. I love the color scheme. Seems kind of familiar. And second, I want a set of the rescue bot toys. Oh, Primus, they are so cute! And accurate! And they auto-transform both ways! Wow! Where are these toys, Hasbro? Are they made by Robosen? Does my souvenir make my hips look big? You guys were all scanned by Doc Green's 3D printer, remember? So those are exact copies. So you're saying my hips are big? Okay, again, a couple things. When were the bots scanned by Doc Green's 3D printer? Also, it's a printer, not a scanner. You would need a 3D scanner, not a printer, but never mind. Second, these are 3D printed toys? Wow, they look great! Usually, 3D printed toys have those ugly print lines and rough edges. These look perfect! Almost like they just took the Rescue Bots models and shrunk them down. And finally, blades, big or small, you have very cute hips. Which do you guys think is my best side for the magazine cover? Your backside! Ooh? I did not expect to hear Cade's family suggest that he get his butt photographed. I didn't know that it was that type of magazine. Hmm, um, where can I get a copy of this magazine? You know, for archival and references purposes only. At Doc Green's lab, he's 3D printing more Rescue Bots toys. Um, Doc, could you set aside a set for me, please? Thanks. <laughs> Why make them one at a time? Doesn't the 3D printer have an automatic setting? That's exactly what I was thinking. Well, the Greens go to bed, but tech troublemakers Evan and Miles break into Doc Green's lab and mess with his toy production. Hmm. Maybe that would explain a thing or two about Hasbro's own toy production and quality control. I like how Dither is conducting the robot band, which we saw previously in the episode Griffin Rock Express. And I really want one of these Rescue Bots t-shirts! The Rescue Bots cringing at how the humans abuse their toy selves is basically how I feel whenever I see a child playing with a toy in general. On the way back from their photo shoot, the Darby Ava gets caught in some kelp, and while Danny tries to free the boat, she is swarmed by a group of poisonous jellyfish. Luckily, her family is able to save her in time. Press coming through! I want a mini boulder! If for my nephew. Aww, it's pretty cute that Huxley is a boulder fan. Although, isn't this a bit of an error? Don't they only reference to the rescue bots by their function when in public? The townspeople shouldn't know what their real names are. They should only know them as Firebot, Copterbot, Policebot, and Constructionbot. Right? So, after Evan and Miles pulled a bit of a small soldiers, 
does anybody remember that movie? Anyways, they used their reprogrammed toy rescue bots to steal cash and valuables from the townsfolk. But with a little help from Frankie, the rescue bots roll to the rescue. Here, you be Cade. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's me being Cade. Aww, Blades is so cute. Boulder being tied down, as well as Doc Green's line here. A Lilliputian revolution. Are references to Gulliver's travels. The bots and their human partners finally reunite. Oh, I miss you too. Not the flying so much. But you, yes. Aww, have I mentioned how cute Blades is? Such a sweet boy. Speaking of which, even though they're being forced to rob a bank, the mini rescue bots are pretty cute. I still want a set, but just not ones made by Evan and Miles. Way to knock off those knockoffs. This may be a reference to how there's a lot of knockoffs of Transformers toys out there. Between popular online stores like Show Z and even your local dollar store, you're sure to find some Transformers knockoff toys. So the team catches the troublesome twosome, and they reprogram the minibots back to being nice bots. Breathtaking. I shall call him... Mini-Me. Aww, so cute! The team is awarded the key to the city, and Mayor Lusky unveils his shrimp buffet, which includes an ice sculpture of himself. Oh, so that's why he liked Wedge's sculpture so much. Well, this was a fun episode of Rescue Bots. Again, the mini Rescue Bot toys were so cute. I want some. Seriously, Hasbro, why isn't there a set of show accurate, highly articulated, collector's quality Rescue Bot toys? I know a lot of people who still love Rescue Bots and are dying for a good set of figures. What about you? What did you think of this episode of the original Rescue Bots? Let me know down in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and do all that other fun stuff. And I'll see you here next time for the next episode of Rescue Bots, Time After Time. time, after time. So I'll see you back here next time for that.